in this video will create a 45 degree elbow. Let's just hide this part right here. We haven't named it, but it's the 90 degree elbow. If we wanted to rename it, we could right click it on here and just rename it to elbow 90. Um, if we click the space bar, it'll hide it. That'll be very convenient for creating this next part because it'll get out of the way for us. So let's create an, another part. And let's sketch on the XY plane. And this one is going to be a 45 degree elbow. So we'll need our line going straight up. And we're going to need another line going off at a, somewhere around a 45 degree angle. We'll make sure this is right in a minute. We want this line to be straight up and down. We want a fillet. We don't need this constraint. We'll get rid of it. We want a fillet in here. So we'll select the fillet tool and click on this line and this line. I know that the length of this should be two inches. And I know that the length of this should be two inches. And now we want to make sure that this angle that's coming down here is 45 degrees. So we'll click on the angle, click this line and this line and make it 45 degrees and that should be good. We'll close this sketch. Now we need the circle. So let's make sure body is selected. Let's do another sketch this time on the XZ plane and we'll create our circle right here and we want the radius to be from our spreadsheet. Oops, wrong thing that I'm typing in here, sorry. Here's the little icon to click and get our spreadsheet. And it's going to be what? The inner radius of the two inch socket, just like we did for our 90 degree elbow. So there we go. Say OK. Close this down. And we're ready to make this a solid looking pipe. So let's do that. OK, let's select the circle and select this icon right here and add the edges that we need. Need that one need that one, need that one, and it's almost there for our 45 degree elbow. Let's um, click on a face, make the thick solid, rotate it around to get the other face, and we should have our 45 degree elbow. And if we were to click on this other one we created and not hide it, we see the little problem I was telling you about. Um, in later videos, I'll show you right now, if we right click this thing and you transform, we can move these things around. And I'm going to show you how we uh, use that to our advantage later to put everything together. So that's it for this video. Have a good day.